Located on the other side of the world south of the equator in Indonesia sits Komodo Island. This small island is one of five that the Komodo dragon calls home. Its climate? We'll call it unpleasant for humans. Um, I've taken surface temperatures on the island of 156 degrees, um, so these guys like it hot. The Denver Zoo keeps their Komodo dragons inside because our weather can get a little chilly. Our general set point for these guys is we're shooting for an air temperature in the low 90s during the day and we drop them down at night um, into the 80s. The dragons also get basking areas that warm up to well over 100 degrees if they want to be warmer. In fact, they have a sensor on their head that tells them when they need just that. It's called the pineal gland um, that reptiles like the Komodo dragon have on the top of their head and that actually will sense ultraviolet light and they use that for thermal regulation, both to go in and out of light um, to tell them, one, is there ultraviolet light here, and two, you know, am I warm enough? But it's a climate that also makes them vulnerable. Volcanoes, fires, and tsunamis all threaten these creatures. Um, because they're on five small islands, it doesn't take much to cause an extinction event um, with them. Uh, it's very dry habitat, particularly in the dry season, so a fire could easily spread rapidly. There's not, you know, there's no fire mitigation in the middle of Indonesia. I mean, to get there from Bali, it's a flight and a boat, an all day boat ride just to get there. So if you answered all of the above, you're right. Their survival is truly amazing.